I wanted to talk about digital art with somebody who has experience with art because I'm very curious on um, what you think about several of these pieces. My first thoughts are it's super interesting, like visually. Yeah, it looks, it's just, it's kind of quite mesmerizing just looking <laughs> at it. <laughs> Here we see uh, the average price. Do you have any thoughts on that? I would, I would say for, for a person that is new to the whole concept, this can be quite um, shocking because I mean, $1,300, that's quite expensive, you would say, for just... Uh, a gift, maybe. Right, maybe a gift, right? exactly. Yeah. A gift that we maybe use every day in our uh, text messages. Or, But then, again, thinking about the whole process, uh, it's super cool just looking at it. So, yeah, I'm just thinking about that and the whole process behind it. Why not? But these prices make me really scared that what we just saw is like in the biggest bubble ever. I mean, this is kind of a joke compared to the prices that we yes, just Yes, absolutely. Seen. But um, the little crown, uh, a symbol that is used a lot for uh, uh, greed and uh, yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Wow, I didn't see that even. Okay. Yeah, it so, looks like a criticism uh, regarding the, the, the the greedy society and the capitalism and maybe could also really? be all different things just okay. first first impression this is very very nice i like it a lot just first impression is this is something i would be very uh, interested in also because it has a lot of modern and uh, references to uh, what's happening right now and just also the the fact that he took or that he used such a such an old technical painting. This art piece um, reminds me a lot of the Venus, um, just how it's, uh, how the composition is um, uh, is built around the center figure. Um, and this is quite amazing because you have the Venus, the symbol of beauty, and then uh, in the actual painting, the Venus painting, it's, uh, it's nude and here it's uh, covered, which is uh, already a big statement, I would say. Okay. Um, as, for example, we are looking at a lot of um, censorship in uh, social media. Then again, you have the Venus, which is a, a symbol of beauty, standing inside toilet paper and stuff you use every day. Do you maybe have some pictures that or some drawings at hand? Yeah, sure. sure. Uh, it's a lot of it's very simple stuff. Um, I find myself being more and more uh minimalistic mm -hmm. but for example have like sketches like this it's very mm -hmm. very simple there may be some this is a little bit more colorful and quite dramatic i like dramatic oh. stuff mm -hmm. okay um what else do i have here this is just the stuff i had uh right next to me here yeah, sitting perfect. on the, on the cool. shelf <laughs> stuff, stuff like this really simple watercolor paintings. I do, I love them. Um, it's fast and, and simple. Can we switch to an artist that yeah. I have actually a bit of connection to because it was the first NFT that I bought. He is an, an 18 year old uh, kid called Fivocious. This one is called um, Moment I Fell In Love. Just seeing the two different signs of the sides of the painting and uh, uh, it, it's a theme that goes through the whole thing if you look from uh, top to uh, lower part of the painting and I, I love it it's yeah. there's so much happening yeah. which again you're not used to when you uh, you're just used to watching I don't know or going to museums and watching painting uh, looking at paintings right um, yeah but this is this is very nice I love it it's um, also the references uh, yeah. we have all seen that face somewhere mm -hmm. uh, in like old cartoons and uh, just the way he uses that to express this feeling of uh, uh, this very complex feeling, which is love. I love it. Yeah. So this one is, uh, for example, a unique piece. So only one was minted and it was uh, an, an auction basically, which uh, it last so, uh, sold for $25,000. He really has a very characteristic style. Oh. I don't know how you, how you would call it. Oh, this also has sound. Quite cool, actually.
if it would be a, uh, if, if it would move, I would call it a collage. Collage nice. two point two point oh. <laughs> and then this uh, breathing motion. I don't know if yeah. it's a reference to uh, psychedelics, but um, uh -huh. people say that when you take psychedelics, you see colors and shapes. Um, they move, but in like breathing motions. It's amazing. It looks really nice. He has a very, very unique style, and um, I think that's also, especially if you, if you're investing or um, if you want to buy art, that's something you're looking for. Mm -hmm. I would say yes. something unique, something not everyone has, or something you can maybe uh, relate to, but you don't see it everywhere else because yeah. then it just gets boring. And uh, he's totally. uh, everything but boring. I, I would say the higher the price, the higher the recognition. What do you think about the price, considering that over 700 or almost 800 copies of this have been made? I would say that it's it's a lot. It's a lot of money because um, it's a lot of prints, if I can call it prints. And um, usually prints that are, even, from, um, even if you go to uh, an auction and you take a look at prints from very big recognized artists, um, Either you don't even see numbers that high, or if you see numbers that high, the paint, uh, the, the prints are quite cheap or affordable. So um, it's quite expensive. Here's the one that I bought, um, and nice. this one was the only one I could afford, or I would, I, um, I dared to afford because um, I, I had no idea. I, from all I knew, that this could either go to zero or stay at the same price forever. Um, but what I what my rationale was when I bought this was first I know that this artist already has some recognition. If you can uh, give recognition in such a, a, a fresh, freshly developing space, um, yeah. and then I thought maybe in the in the future um, people will look back at this at the beginning of um, of this uh, space kind of um, developing and um, be most interested in these artists. <laughs> Which makes a lot of sense. I also think that from an artist perspective, the whole NFT market, it, it's just amazing for artists. Um, it just makes them so much more independent. And um, considering that factor, I would say that more and more artists will um, use NFTs or the, the NFT market. To their advantage and it's just natural that it, it will grow in my opinion yeah and then um just as uh, last artist that i really like uh, and i wanted your opinion on is this is mad dog jones um, unfortunately his paintings are really expensive this really has a lot of, of these um cypherpunk vibes <laughs> these neon colors, um, the Chinese uh, signs. Um, I kind of really love it. Uh, and yeah, this, this is one, absolutely amazing. I love this too. Something this, I would buy instantly. Wow. Last sold for 14. Okay, this is a, it already came down a lot because when I last checked, this one last sold for $21,000. If it comes down more, I will actually buy this. And actually, in this case, I would really buy it more as a uh, as a collector piece because I really kind of want to own it even though I will not own anything but yeah. in a way ownership is is really something that can be very abstract you don't need to have it in your belonging but the yeah. fact that this one piece that you are the owner of it and it can be uh, unmistakably seen on the blockchain is already enough to, um, to kind of translate this ownership yeah also in a indirect way you are showing your appreciation for the artist uh, this is actually my my favorite nft of all time same artist it's called uh, what do i care i'm just a cat um and it I, it has so much, um, I kind of feel being in this washing salon and the, the washing machines running, then 
the, the lights, the neon lights flickering, then these, um, again, neon pink colors, the Mount Fuji. The reference, he has a yeah. reference of the Mount Fuji, which, which was also, also painted by the amazing Hokusai. Yeah, but I love this art of him. Yeah, um, it's amazing. And, and then I also love the, uh, the stock market reference. It's just, I, yeah. I love it. So they're 900. Last sold for six thousand. Um, wow. But maybe now we can um, go into um, your domain a bit and uh, go to a website that you already bought some paintings on, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. Yes. And then maybe you can um, we can browse through and you can maybe um, point out what you like, what you don't like, and why you like what you like. Um, we'll just have to go to a random auction. I hope I find a good one. Let's see. I like the classical art. So now we are already in a specific genre, right? So in classic art. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. This is, um, you would say, old masters. Um, and this is what I like the most. You see, basically, most of these pieces are pieces that are even affordable, mm -hmm. um, are not well known or are not by artists that you would see in a, I don't know, art history book to buy the history and um, the expertise. I love the Dutch school a lot because it's just a lot of uh, landscapes and I love landscapes. It used to be a very big genre in, uh, in, uh, in the 1700s, in the 1600s, 1500s. This is the Flemish school. I mean, it's a whole different thing, right? Looking at... Mm -hmm. At something like this also it's quite damaged i think so this probably makes it more affordable i would say which will never happen with an nft it will not be damaged <laughs> right so yeah. this is also something uh, to take uh, into consideration you have to be quite lucky to find something uh, affordable which is in a good state and also um, desirable but these prices make me <laughs> really scared that what we just saw is like in the biggest bubble ever i mean this is kind of a joke compared to the prices that we yes absolutely seen. but um here we have so much so so much it's not even comparable so this is really no name most of it is no name yeah i can just try to find something um, that is even closer to the nft market for example prince mm -hmm. this one could be real Oh, so here, for example, this is the thing. It has a lot of, um, you have a lot of different levels when it comes to prints. Um, this one may seem super cheap for Picasso. It may go up, but uh, do they have an expertise here? Um, like, no, whatever. Um, it may go up to, I don't know, maybe even 400, 500, 600. But even if it goes to a thousand, a lot of people may say that it's not enough for Picasso. But what's important here is this is not only a print, so it exists a lot of time, but it's also not um, the signature is not uh, hand, it's not hand signed, so it's signed in the plate. So the plate that was used to print mm -hmm. has already has a signature in it. Okay. So you only buy the print without the signature, which makes it a lot cheaper. Which is a level also, mm -hmm. uh, again, that you don't have with NFTs because I would say do. NFTs are all not hand signed, right? Yeah, they all have basically the signature in the plate or if you can, you can yeah. say it like that. I would say so. And then, then again, yeah, this is a layer that is not available for NFTs. And that's the thing when you say um, you get scared by the prices in the art market, there's so many different uh, aspects you have to take into yes. consideration that you don't have with uh, NFTs mm -hmm. that it's not really comparable mm -hmm. uh, maybe in the higher um, in the maybe high-end art uh, that is way more expensive and then you compare it like uh, why is it so expensive or with like new artists like Damien Hirst or um, yeah for example Damien Hirst he's a good uh, good example super expensive this is the only real one they have and it's uh, just gonna check what it is. Stamped signature again. Okay, it's not signed, uh, hand signed. Mm -hmm. But this one is already like um, 
2,000 to 3,000. Okay. This one is quite nice, actually. Oh, <laughs> I'm just seeing this one, and I would actually consider buying it. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, to see Damien Hirst, uh, I think it's not an... It's not that obvious. It's 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 a nice one too. I like it, but um, for example, for Damien Hirst, he he has so much stuff that when he does something that is uh, unique, it just explodes. Like the price is just okay. so so high. It's in the 50, 60, 70 million range. Fifty oh. millions, twenty millions, thirty millions. Really? It's, okay. Yeah, so much money. He's one of the most expensive living artists in the world. And what do you like about his art? What do you like about this piece in particular? Honestly, it's just because it's him and because it's yeah. uh, it's it's pleasant to see. Yeah. It's like it's visually um, it's it's nice. The the visuals are, are super nice. Okay. But uh, in general, about Damien Hirst, I like that he's very um, eccentric with his art. He goes very far. He he crosses a lot of lines. A lot of lines. Uh, he gets a lot of criticism too. I like his way of just being himself and just having very, very crazy ideas. Do you have anything else that you want to add or something that you want to get into before we wrap up? For me, this is not like NFTs are not taking over the art world, but they are adding. They are like an addition to the art world and it will just be more beautiful and better just uh, for people that are interested in art because now you have like something that you can add to the list mm -hmm. uh, you have something that maybe you can explore again because mm -hmm. it's been a long time since uh, art geeks I, or people that are into art could explore a new thing um, and this is something to which I also will be exploring way more uh, mm -hmm. in the future because cool. it's just super interesting and um, I think there's a in, in my opinion, at least, um, NFTs have a big future, yeah. just like every every other um, form of art? way of yeah form of art. Thank you. Um, has the, its past and and will have a future too because art is always um, needed and there's always a, mm -hmm. a big request. It's very interesting how it has already been legitimized by, for example, Christie's auctioning uh, a picture, and they have been. It, auctioning art for, um, I don't know, I think before the US signed their Declaration of Independence. So they have gone through all the history. Yeah. Um, so this is a big step. And then I've heard about um, NFT galleries taking place, like in, in China, I think Beijing, if I'm not mistaken, there's been or will be um, a gallery where NFTs are being displayed. Oh, wow. And that's super interesting. I well, that's a big step too. Also, yeah. um, just speaks for the for the NFTs. Cool. So this has been really interesting. Thank you very much for absolutely. Taking the Thank time. you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.